vocabulary is a very important task. In the previous video, we have talked about eight ways to develop your vocabulary. But even you know a lot of vocabularies, there are lots of words that have similar meanings, right? And there are so many other things that you should know before choosing your vocabulary for your writing. So choosing a right vocabulary is a very important task. And in this video, I am going to answer all the questions that why it is very important task and how should you choose a vocabulary so that your writing is very impressive. Okay. And this video is going to be very helpful for the general IELTS student also for the informal letter writing as well as formal letter writing as well as this video is also important for the academic IELTS student and even you are not preparing for the IELTS examination but still if you have to write some letter in English or email in English uh, suppose maybe you are working somewhere and you have to do a business writing then also this video is going to be very helpful for you because vocabulary is very important and we are going to find out these in this video so let's Friends, proceed if you are new here then please hit the red button below and subscribe to the IELTS guide channel as well as also hit the bell icon so that you will never gonna miss any update from us as well as if you found this video helpful then it is right. the part of the diction now you might be thinking what is diction if you have heard word dictionary then you should know what is diction okay let me explain you what is diction diction is simply choosing the right word to express your meaning that is known as a diction however choosing the right word is always not so easy task and that's why you should be very careful for choosing the right vocabulary because the words can be formal, informal and slang. So you should be very careful for choosing the words. For example, suppose you are preparing for the general IELTS. Then you have to write later. The later can be formal later or informal later. So you should have a proper vocabulary for both kind of a later, right? In case of academic, you have to use only formal vocabularies. You cannot use informal words or slangs. Slangs actually are never going to be acceptable in writing, right? Whether it is a, a academic or general writing, okay? And even in, in case of a business writing also, you should choose the words very carefully, right? Because in case of a business, you should write your letter to your boss or you are sending email to your boss. At that time, you should have to choose the right vocabulary, right? You cannot choose the informal words over there. And in case of you are in case sometime you are sending the email or writing the letter to your colleague, then then it should be informal, right? So you should know the proper vocabulary for that case also, right? You cannot use the formal words in case of informal writing maybe because in that case uh, the reader might think that you are insulting him or her right so choosing a right vocabulary is a very important right so you cannot use formal word in case of informal writing and informal word in case of a formal right writing and slangs are never accepted in writing right so today I'm going to give you some example in this video so that you can understand this very better, right? So the first example that I have for you is, uh, suppose you have to mention your father in the letter or in the essay. So we all know that in case of files, we cannot use one word all the time. We have to use the synonym, right? So in that case, sometime, you might be thinking that you suppose you have to use three to four times a father or say my father my father my father in the essay or letter you have to use three to four times now what is the synonym of my father then we all know that the simplest synonym we know that is dad my dad right so but let me tell you that my father is a formal word or formal phrases but my dad is not formal it is informal so you cannot use my dad in case of a formal writing so in case of academic essay or in case of a formal letter writing you cannot say that my dad right that is a informal word so it is completely wrong and 
let me tell you what is slang of my father actually we don't use many times slangs so we might don't know what is the slang of my father but it is my old man it is slightly vulgar actually so uh, this kind of things you should be very very careful let me give you one more example that children you cannot use use word kid in place of a children or kids in place of a children right because it is informal the kid is informal word so you should know this kind of vocabularies otherwise you will lose the marks in the ielts examination even your grammar is okay everything is perfect but choosing the vocabulary is a very important and that is why so many students don't get good band score in the writing section most of the language is always changing and evolving however the choice we make any time should follow a certain rule of correctness and formality because formality is very very important right and failing to do these things may be result in erroneous in diction and there are two main problem with diction there are two main sources of error in diction and if you can understand these two things then you can easily use the proper word and you can easily express your meaning to the reader right so the first thing that you should take care while choosing the right vocabulary is the meaning of the word choosing the right meaning word because there are lots of words in the english language that sound similar but spelled differently but still they sound similar so you got confused and you can you just mismatch with that word right so let me give you one example that among and between so these are the two words that sound similar but uh, among is for the among is used when you are when you are relating more than two things right more than two things then you should use among but the between is used when you are relating with two things right so between used for two things and if you are talking about more than two things then you should use among so you should know these things properly otherwise you are going to mismatch with these words and lot of students do this in the examination right and there are lot of words uh, same as these two words so you should be very careful for choosing the right vocabulary for your ielts writing task as well as that you and should know is choosing words. the formal informal and slang words right so you should have proper knowledge that which words are informal or less formal and which words are slang right so if you know that then only you can use a formal word right so let me give you one more example of this kind uh, that is loan and borrow now if you are asking something from your friend the friend or from your colleague or from your boss then you should know what you should use at that time right borrow me your pen right that is less formal so you cannot use that at every time right suppose you are uh, doing a formal writing then you cannot say that or formal speaking then you cannot say that you have to say in case of a formal speaking you have to say that loan me that pen please or loan me your pen please so that that is you should know then only you can use a proper vocabulary in your writing or in your speaking task lots right. of example i have for you for today in this video uh, so in the in this examples i try to cover both this kind of uh, errors the choosing the right word that is the words that are sound similar but spelled differently and choosing the proper word that is formal informal or slang Uh, so i am going to give you a lot of example now so let's move to the computer screen so that i can explain the examples very well so first of all let's talk about formal informal and slang example so that you can understand it very well the first example is i am angry it is a formal way if you have to say the same in the informal way then it is i am mad and the slang of this is i am pissed off it is actually slightly vulgar and you might have heard this in the movies or in the tv series so you have to be very careful while choosing the 
synonym right so i am angry is for the formal i am mad is for the informal so you have to choose it wisely while you are writing right in case of academic only formal is allowed in case of a general ielts later writing it could be formal or informal but slang is never accepted okay so now let, let's move to the next example what you are proposing does not seem feasible this is a complete sentence and it is a formal but sometimes sentence uh, is also a formal and informal way so let's read the informal example i don't think your plan sounds very possible right you cannot say this to your manager or to your boss right uh, it's a completely informal way it's, it's it feels like you are insulting right i don't think your plan sounds very possible instead of that you have to say what you are proposing does not seem feasible even you are writing the business writing or business letter or writing a, writing an email then you have to use what you are proposing does not seem feasible instead of i don't think you are your plan sounds very possible so you have to remember this and the slang of this is that plans crap it is actually slightly vulgar and you might have heard this in the movies or tv series okay so slangs you you have to be very careful uh, never use slangs okay then the next is it is very basic and very important my father as i told you earlier my father is a inf is a formal informal is my dad and the slang is my old man okay my old man you might have heard in the tv series or in the movies okay uh, then the last example is it was a pleasure meeting you it is a formal way right you have to remember this it was a pleasure meeting you and informally see you around you can use informal when you are talking with your friends or writing the letter to your very close colleague or friend okay and the slang is later dude so we don't use slangs in academic writing okay and in case of a uh, any writing slangs are never accepted so remember this okay friends so now let's talk about some words some examples that are of error in the diction right so the this kind of there are two kinds of error as i told you earlier the error in choosing the right word okay because of the confusion in harmoniums means of words that are sounds similar but spelled different if we don't understand the meaning of the word very well then we can make this kind of mistakes so we are going to see some example on that topic based as well as we are also going to see some examples on the choosing the word based on formal informal and slang okay so let's talk about among and between first the among involves more than two and between involves only two colloquials is actually a less formal way right so let's read the colloquial first discussion between our group members were often very lively so over here we are talking about our group member right our group member means that involves more than two so it is actually not formal right it is actually uh, we cannot say it is completely wrong but it is not a formal way right less formal way or we can say it is a slang right so discussion among our group members were often very lively is a formal way and we should use this right so just remember a little tip that among involves more than two and between involves only two right every day and every day let's read the tip first every day is an adjective meaning typical or not special and every day specify a habit it's just a matter of one space only but the meaning of the word is really really different right so we have to be very careful while choosing this kind of words so let's read the first sentence that is incorrect one we buy lunch there every day every day it's actually every day is over here is a typical or not special so this is wrong right we buy lunch there every day means it's our habit to buy lunch over there so we buy lunch there every day that is the right sentence every space day right we cannot say we buy lunch there every day it is not a not so special or typical right the, because the every day meaning is 
typical or not special the correct is we buy lunch there every day because it is our habit the correct uh, let's read another correct sentence our manager told us to wear everyday clothes to the saturday meeting everyday clothes means the clothes which are not special we are wearing the clothes typically every day and it's not a special right so manager told us to wear everyday clothes to the saturday meeting means we don't have to wear some special clothes for the saturday meeting right so this is the correct way so you have to understand the perfect meaning of every day and every space day then only you can use it perfectly right now let's move to the next example that is loan oblique land versus borrow in some english dialects the word borrow is substituted for loan or land as in can you borrow me that book in standard english the person providing an item lands or loans it but the person receiving it borrows it so you have to remember borrowing means means in the favor of person who is receiving the item and the loan or land means in the favor of person providing an item right so let's read the example the first is borrow me that pen please now if you use borrow me that pen please it's not a wrong sentence but it is slightly less formal right because borrow is in the favor of person receiving the item right receiving the item so let's read the formal way in case of a formal way you can say that lend me that pen please so you are giving a, a response to the person who is providing you the item okay so you have to be careful over here and the, uh, and you can also say that loan me that pen please so in case of a formal you should use loan me that pen or lend me that pen please but if you are talking with your close friend then you can say borrow me that pen please but if you are talking with your manager or boss you you should say loan me that pen please right so you have to be careful while writing also in this case right so now let's move to the next example that is based off of so the informal or we can say less formal way is based off of that information we can move ahead with the plan actually it is not a wrong sentence but it is less formal right so we should use based on that information we can move ahead with the plan actually we always use based on but sometimes it's got confused when we see the word based off of so i just add this example also over here let's move to the next that is very important this is very important because it is so simple but still we make so many mistakes because we don't have a proper knowledge regarding this the so kids mom and dad now tip when referring to family members or children use the formal style in academic writing academic writing you should have to use formal and kids mom dad sees bro all the words are informal you cannot use or even in the formal letter writing you cannot use so remember this okay uh, let's read the first sentence his mom and dad took all of the kids to the park now this is informal way so you should use in the formal way his mother and father took all of the children to the park okay so remember this next is you guys if you have watched my previous video of eight ways to develop vocabulary i have mentioned these too many times you guys you guys because i am habitual of uh, speaking this but actually it is less formal right so you should be very careful you you might have heard these in the movies or tv series or in the uh, social network post so just try to avoid using this in a formal way you can use these you guys kind of a, a words in, when you are talking in your friend circle it's okay but in the formal way you should have to say all of you so let's read the sentence i hope you guys can join me at the restaurant you guys it's an informal way so you have to say i hope all of you can join me at the restaurant okay so remember this it is also a very helpful the next is infer and imply it is very important uh, let's read the tip first to infer is an act of thinking act of thinking means infer and imply means 
an act of saying something so let's read the incorrect one i saw you i saw your memo about a noun meeting are you inferring that we should have lunch together now inferring inferring means act of thinking act of thinking it is wrong over here because you have to say i saw your memo about a noun meeting are you implying that we should have lunch together you are trying to say something that we sh something like we should have lunch together it's not an act of thinking it's an act of saying something right so over here you should have to remember the meaning so now let's move to the next it's and it's it's apostrophe s means it is right it it means always it is so what is incorrect one when we are hurry in the writing in case of ielts examination we sometimes made this kind of a silly mistake so just take a look to the example carefully the committee have reached its goals this year over here its goal means it is goals it is completely wrong completely wrong sentence if you even by mistakenly you put it's then it is completely wrong right you cannot put apostrophe s over here it means it is right so be careful over here the committee has reached its goals this year which is a correct sentence okay let's move to the next that is less than and fewer than so tip use less than only with uncountable nouns in formal writing in case of a formal writing you can use less than but for uncountable nouns only let's say the example there are less people in the store today than yesterday less people less people in the store today than yesterday people are countable okay so you cannot use less people it is actually it is not wrong but it is less formal right so you should use there are fewer people in the store today than yesterday right so remember fewer for countable uh, uh, for uncountable less than next is like and as use as when comparing actions when you are comparing actions then you should use as and when you are comparing things then you should use like right so let's read the example so that you uh, you can understand it very well the example is Alan wants to write a new essay just like Sarah does so here there is an action of writing something writing something so you cannot use like right the actually we cannot say the sentence is incorrect but it it not seems formal right so Alan wants to write a new essay just as Sarah does right so you should be very careful over here when when you are comparing actions just use as when you are comparing things just use like okay now let's move to the next that is like or maybe tip avoid using like and maybe when estimating use approximately perhaps or about instead let's read the example there were like 30 people at my birthday party there were like 30 people it it not sounds very formal way right there were like 30 pe people it's not like it not sound formally it sounds like you are talking with your friends there were like 30 people at my birthday party but instead of that you should use there were approximately 30 people at my birthday party it is a very formal sentence right so you should remember this like and maybe uh, you should not use while estimating right use approximately perhaps or about instead okay so you you try to find out more examples uh, for the perhaps and about instead and like and maybe so that you can understand it very well okay the next is there are there and there your and your right the so tip is remember that there are always means they are okay and you are always means you are when apostrophe is r e is you are and they are okay now let's read the incorrect one do you know if they're there going to the party there that is actually it's not seems perfect over here you should say do you know if they are going to the party there means uh, it's completely wrong sentence it is completely incorrect even by mistake you have put there over here instead of they are 
it is completely wrong you are, you are gonna lose marks okay then similarly you are lunch is on the counter you are lunch it's completely wrong your lunch is on the counter is a perfect over here it's so simple but sometimes when we are hurrying writing or we have a less time in the IELTS examination we might make some little mistakes and it is not acceptable okay then the incorrect one is next is what is their address there there it's not we should be focusing on the person over here so what is their address okay that is a correct sentence that's it for today in this video friends i hope you guys enjoy this video if you found this video helpful then please hit the like button and if you are new here then don't forget to subscribe to the ielts guide channel as well as if i have done any mistake in this video then please do mention in the comment section below if you have any idea or if you have more examples regarding these topics or if you want videos on a particular topic then please tell me in the comment section below and if you have something to say for the IELTS examination or more idea regarding the IELTS preparation then share with us in the comment section so that we can learn and uh, we can read the comments and learn from each other's comments okay friends so this is Rams you are watching IELTS guide and I hope to see you soon bye bye